Welcome to my Secret Place Devotion with Oyix Alfred. The Word of God is alive and equipped to change your life. Good morning. I'm so grateful to the Lord. And one of the reasons I'm grateful to Him is because whenever God starts a project, He will not stop until the end. God does not believe in abandoned projects. So if God is doing a work in your life, you can be assured that He will continue to do it up until the day the Lord Jesus comes. That's what He says to us in Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. So let's pray. Father, thank you so much. We are grateful, Lord. Over the life of your children, you have promised that the work you have started, you do it up until the end. Lord, I ask that your children will continue to yield to you on a daily basis to continue to do the work that you started in their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's start with a big question. Why exactly did Jesus come? Why did Jesus leave heaven and come to live on earth for a complete 33 years? What is the reason behind the coming of Jesus? Everyone knows basically that Jesus came to die for our sins, but it is much more than that. Jesus came for much more than just dying for our sins. Dying for our sins is big, it is huge, it is major, but there are other assignments that God gave him to accomplish here on earth. And one of those assignments is that Jesus, his focus is to show us the Father, is to reveal an aspect of the Father that the Old Testament people did not know anything about. Now, in the Old Testament, Abraham and all those other people that served in the Old Testament, they knew God as one who gives laws you should abide by. They knew God who will fight their battles. They knew God who would allow judgment upon his people if they refused to follow him. They knew all of those things about God. But one thing they didn't know about God is they didn't understand the fatherhood of God. And that is one of the assignments that God gave Jesus to accomplish on earth. God wanted us to see that aspect of him, that he is a father. So Jesus came to demonstrate to us who the father is, that aspect of God that was hidden in the Old Testament. In fact, if you read from Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 and 2, he says, In the past, God spoke spoke to our ancestors through the prophets at many times and in various ways. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son, whom he has appointed heir of all things and through whom also he made the universe. But the key thing I want us to know that he said that God is speaking to us through his son. The question is, what exactly is God saying through his son? God is saying through his son, he's speaking to us through the life of his son, telling us that I am a father. So Jesus came to reveal the father. Jesus came to show us how the father thinks. Jesus came to show us the lifestyle of the father. Jesus came to show us the behavior, everything about the father. That is exactly what Jesus came to portray. In fact, if you read from John chapter 1 verse 18, it says, I'm reading from the NIV version. It says, no one has ever seen God, but the one and only son who is himself God and is in closest relationship with the father has made him known. So the Bible says that the job of Jesus, the assignment of Jesus is to make the father known. And that is what Jesus does. So whatever you see in the life of Jesus, he's telling you that this is who God is like. When Jesus will have compassion on people, what he's saying is that this is how God is. God shows compassion. When Jesus heals the sick, what Jesus is doing is he's showing you that the Father desires to heal the sick. When you see Jesus do all the things he did, you know that this is what is in the heart of the Father. This is who the Father is. The Bible says in John 14 verse 7, he said, if you really know me, you will know my father as well. So what it means that if you know Jesus, then you've known the father. If you have seen Jesus, then you have seen the father. If you have seen Jesus, you don't need to look for God again. Every single thing about the father is represented in Jesus. That is why the Bible says that, you know, the fullness of the Godhead, it dwells in Jesus bodily. So the assignment of Jesus on earth is to reveal God the Father to us, is to reveal his thinking pattern, is to reveal his processes, is to reveal every single thing about God was revealed perfectly through Jesus. That is why 
when Jesus, you know, was having a, a final meal with his disciples, one of the things that one of the disciples asked Philip, he says, show us the father and to be enough for us. And then Jesus replied, John 14, 8 and then 9, said, Philip said, Lord, show us the father and that will be enough for us. In verse 9, Jesus answered, don't you know me, Philip, even after I have been among you for such a long time, anyone who has seen me has seen the father. So how can you say, show us the father so the assignment of jesus is to show us the father is to reveal the father so if you study the life of jesus what you are really doing is studying the life of the father if you understand the thinking pattern of jesus then what it means is that you've understood the thinking pattern of god the father if jesus forgives easily it means the father forgives easily whatever you see in the life of jesus that is exactly who the father is god desires to be known god wants his people to know him and love him as a father and the only way he could truly reveal himself as a father to us is by sending his son Jesus to live out the life of God the father here on earth and so that is how we come in contact with the father through Jesus Christ there is no other way you will know the father and his character and all of that if you do not know Jesus so if you want to know the character of God the father look at Jesus the character of Jesus is the character of the father perhaps you were not there of course when jesus walked on planet earth none of us if you're listening to me none of us was here when jesus was living so how would you know the character of god the father since you were not here when jesus lived well very simple his word is here in the bible so if you want to know the character of jesus you just studied life of jesus in the scripture and you know the character of jesus and by knowing the character of jesus you know the character of the father it was so important to god that we know who he is we know his character we know his disposition. We know about him. And so he sent Jesus. His assignment on earth is not just dying for us. Dying for us is one of it. And it is a very big one, dying for the saints. But before going to the cross to die, God wanted us to know him, know his character, and not just know him, know him as the Father God. And that is why the scripture read in Hebrews says that God has been speaking to us through the different prophets. But this time he began to speak to us through his son. What is he telling us? What message is, is the father passing through Jesus? He's passing the message that I am a father. I want you to relate with me as a father. I want you to know that I love you. I want you to know that I have compassion for you. I want you to know that I am for you. The same way a father loves and pities his children, that is exactly how God loves and pities us. The same way that a father disciplines his children because he loves them and wants them to be better, that is exactly how God disciplines us and wants us to be better because you know a father cannot love you with only good things there will be discipline and that discipline is designed to make you better it's designed to remove all those things in you that are not of the lord but to you know bring out the character of christ in you so god wants to be known by his people and he made us know him through his son Jesus. I hope you now understand the other assignment of Jesus that is beyond coming to the cross to die for us. Thank you for listening. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. God bless you. For other life changing messages, you can now download the app Rev Oyik Speaks from Play Store for Android phone users or Apple Store for iOS users. You can also follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Telegram, all on the handle Oyik's Alfred. your heart is higher.